to data and computer network project 2 time division multiplexing system tdm is a technique of multiplexing where users are allowed the total available bandwidth on time sharing basis this means in the time domain it's being divided into several in regular slots of fixed length and each signal is allocated a time slot on the periodic cycle basis and many different signals are being multiplexed into a single transmission media where multiple time slots are called a frame each frame is synchronized by start and stop bit time division multiplexing consists of multiplexer at the transmitter side and demultiplexer at the receiver side there are more many different standards for time division multiplexing in this diagram we created the schematic of time division multiplexing communication technique there are four input signal sources the sine wave sawtooth wave inverter sawtooth wave and square wave here are the waveform the shapes and at the four input signals are being inserted into the transmitter these signals are being put into time slot of 0 0.25 millisecond since there are four time slot which constitute a complete frame so we can see a regular period of one millisecond and after the signal passing through the multiplexer we can see the single channel transmission line has the superposition has the superposition of four different signal being transmitted to the receiver and a demultiplex waveform looks like this after going into the receiver is being demultiplexed into their respective channel and we are going to talk about the components functionality at the multiplexer the transmitter side okay input one is a sine wave and then represent analog signal input two is sawtooth wave is a piecewise linear waveform input three is an inverted sawtooth Okay, and then which is higher frequency and input 4 is a square wave input 4 has a square wave and which represent digital signal and the selector block diagram is actually a clock generator signal with a period of 1 millisecond duty cycle 0 0.25 duty ratio and this transmitter can accommodate four inputs and then for another one which is the time division multiplexer inside the clock signal is being sent and is being split into four and each signal has different delay time shift the first one has no delay second one has one unit delay second one has two units of delay third one has fourth one has three units of delay and the input signal are clocked in a way where each of these signal are allocated to their own time slot they did not interfere with each other at the receiver side the incoming TDM signal is being demultiplexed and they are passed through their own respective reconstructor block diagram. For the first wave, the sine wave only passed through a low pass filter Butterworth and it is it is an analog signal at the output as well as the input. However, for the second, third and fourth, the received analog signal are being discretized all right so for the sine wave input one 
No? Okay. Sine wave input 1, high frequency component of the debugged back signal is removed by adding low pass filter. The soft tooth wave are being time shifted by 1, 2, and 3 units of time delay. You can see in the new diagram, even though after the signal as are being output and shown in the graph, you can see there's a jagged ladder, ladder shape of the waveform. Some information lesser than 0 0.25 milliseconds are lost during the multiplexer sampling part at the transmitter. So that's all about time division multiplexing.